Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.1 on the iPhone 4S. Now yes, Apple did release an updated firmware exclusive to the iPhone 4S today, and the evaders, the dev team behind the untethered evasion jailbreak utility, pushed out a new update that allows iPhone 4S users to jailbreak on 6.1.1. Now of course this tutorial will also work for iOS 6, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, and 6.1.1. And it does include all iOS based devices that can upgrade to iOS 6, which does include the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, which I will demonstrate with in just a second, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the fourth generation iPad, the third generation iPad, the iPad 2, the iPad mini, the fifth generation iPod Touch, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. Now, before we begin, it's important to mention that you need to have the latest version of iTunes downloaded, and if you upgrade, Upgraded to iOS 6, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, 6.1, or 6.1.1 via Apple's over the air update feature. What you should do is plug your device into your computer, create a backup inside of iTunes, restore to the latest firmware, whether it's 6.1.1 on your iPhone 4S or 6.1 on any of the other iOS based devices, jailbreak, and then restore from your iTunes backup. Now, that will ensure that you do not encounter any errors when jailbreaking, and your device will also run more smoothly once it's been jailbroken. All right, and the only thing you need to download for this tutorial is the latest version of Evasion, and I'll have a link to a post on my website down below in the more info that contains download links for Windows and OS X based computers alike. All right, and without any further ado, let's get started. If you're on Windows, what you need to do is unzip Evasion and place the files on your desktop. If you're on Mac OS X, all you have to do is mount the image file and simply drag the application to your desktop. Now, once Evasion is in a place where you can conveniently access it, open it and simply plug your iDevice into your computer via your standard USB cable. All right, now as you can see inside of Evasion, it's recognized that I have my iPhone 4S running on 6.1.1. And for additional proof, what I'm going to do is go inside of the general about portion of the settings application. And down below for the version, as you can see, I am indeed on iOS 6.1.1 on my iPhone 4S. All right, now that that's out of the way, like I said, once you have your device plugged in, simply click the jailbreak button on Evasion. And now, at this point, it's going to retrieve the information and generate the jailbreak data. And once it's done with that, it's going to inject the data to your device. All right, now this step, it says it's rebooting the device and it says do not touch your device. Now that's fine. All it's really saying is to refrain from touching any of the physical buttons on your device. All right, now that the device has rebooted, simply leave it alone, do not unlock it, just wait until it sent all the information to your device. All right, now it's injecting stage two jailbreak data and it's on step two out of three. Okay, now that it's finished injecting the data, it's uploading Cydia, which obviously is what you get when you jailbreak. Okay, and that was the important part. It says to continue, please unlock your device and tap the jailbreak icon only once. Now, this is very crucial that you follow this exactly and you only tap on jailbreak once, like it says. So I'm unlocking my iPhone 4S here and scrolling over to where it says jailbreak. Now you will have the evasion jailbreak icon and just tap it and the evasion utility will continue.
Okay, and now that it's preparing and injecting the final jailbreak data, your device should reboot again and go through a series of screens. Now even though it says it's done inside of Evasion, it's still a good idea to leave your device plugged in. All right, and here we go, this is what we want. If we see these white evasion screens, then we know we're doing it right. Now, if you don't see those screens, I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. But first, let's just make sure we go through the jailbreak process and we're able to successfully jailbreak the iPhone 4S on 6.1.1. All right, and there we go. Now that the iPhone 4S is back up, I'm going to slide to unlock it. And at this point, you can close out of any pop-ups that you may get. Okay, now we're at the home screen of the iPhone 4S. I'm going to swipe over. And as you can see, we do have Cydia. Now this is also an important step. It says it's preparing the file system and Cydia will automatically exit once it's complete. Just leave your device alone. Again, do not press either the home or the power button. It will automatically respring when it's done preparing the file system. Okay, and there we go. It did finish and it is in the process of respringing right now. Okay, now I'm going to slide to unlock, go over to Cydia. All right, so as you can see at the bottom there, it does say iPhone 4S, iOS 6.1.1, Cydia 1.1.8. So I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you jailbreak. Also, don't forget that you can watch my iOS 6.1 untethered jailbreak video using Evasion if you have another iOS-based device that's on 6.1. Some people might feel more comfortable just watching that tutorial because I am showing, again, 6.1 instead of 6.1.1 on the iPhone 4S. Now before I conclude, I just wanted to say a few things. If your device gets hung up and if you don't see those white evasion jailbreak screens, I'm going to show you what you need to do right now. First of all, you should have left your device plugged in. And if you still don't have any progress, again, I showed you exactly how long it should take in this video. What you wanna do is hold down the home and power button together and just hold them down until you see the Apple boot logo again. So your screen should go black and then the Apple logo should pop up. And once you reboot, you should have Cydia. Also, the Amazon gift card giveaway that I was holding has concluded. However, I am hosting a new giveaway for this video. All you have to do to enter is simply rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. It doesn't matter what your comment is. As long as it's relevant to this video, once it's posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And this time around, I'm giving away a $100 iTunes gift card. All right. Now, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter to be updated anytime there's any news related to jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.